What's good? It's your boy Elvis here to give you an update on my life because I like to think that you actually give a shit. Uh, two weeks to the day, uh, I am officially a free man. I am no longer on probation. Uh, and to basically kind of go off of this, uh, when I went to go do my uh, hearing for the motion of early termination, which I was on for uh, three plus months longer than I should have been, uh, Florida legal system, man, what are you going to do? Uh, I got there and my attorney, uh, Mr. Todd Hunger, uh, had definitely tightened up what he was going to present to uh, to the judge and uh, I was sandbagged or sideswiped uh, at one point when Judge Krug had asked the prosecution uh, if they had any objections to my early termination and they went through the whole spiel about you know they objected because of this little story that she had fed to the prosecution, my ex-girlfriend that is. Um, but what got me was, if you saw the one video that I posted of my, uh, my stand-up routine that I did at McCurdy's Comedy Theater, um, she had saw that, uh, again, my ex-girlfriend, and, uh, she reported me to the prosecution saying that I violated probation <clears throat> by trying to have contact with her. Uh, she was not at the club. Uh, she just saw the video and wanted to do what she could to keep me on probation because I had one teeny, tiny little, just a little, little bit there where I said my ex-girlfriend who sent me to jail but also convinced me to do stand-up comedy. Um, so she told them that she was at the comedy club, not true, uh, and that, uh, that I knew that she was there. No, she was not there. I walked that entire club. I had multiple witnesses, probably 20-plus people who came to see me. And she was not amongst them. Um, she also had told prosecution that uh, she, that I had tried to make contact with her at a restaurant. We had crossed paths. Um, this was actually, she came to my job knowingly, knowingly, and made eye contact with me, walked right past the bar that I work at, and then sat down right next to the bar. I got management to escort her off the property. That was that. Clearly not. Uh, she had told prosecution, like I just said, that we had crossed paths. And my attorney shut that shit down fast. Uh, Judge Krug saw right through that bullshit. And uh, I am making this video right now because <clears throat> I know that you're watching. And I know you still keep up. You still have eyes on me. I win. I win. A year and a half of my life taken from me. Not including the year and a half of my life that was in the most turbulent, rocky, most abusive relationship I've ever known anyone to ever have to deal with I win have a nice day a uh, quick addendum to the last little video or first part rather uh, you may be asking yourself Elvis why would somebody want to do that to you like why would somebody just make things up like that well Dear viewer, I'm glad you asked. The reason why is because it's on some mafia shit. I know too much. I know enough to bring down 
many people's lives, but only because they chose to make the wrong decision and do things in the shadows that uh, they think that no one will ever know. Um, certain, uh, certain real estate moguls in Sarasota, Florida, certain actors, public relations managers, certain art magnates, shall we say, As Johnny Cash once said, what's done in the dark will be brought to the light. I am a free man. I am no longer held by the shackles of the state of Florida. This story will be told, whether you like it or not. Most of you will love it, but some people will not like that this is getting revealed. See you around, buddy boy.